it's just not right. She put on my trust to shame with you. I gave him my all and all, where did I slip? And now that I'm tired of playing these games, you put the blame on me, and I had to change. But what did I change for, for you to change too? But you didn't do so, and now we're through. Our love just like a flower without water will die. I played your last game, and I heard your last lie. No games, baby. attended a concert in honor of the candidate. The award and became the laughing stock of the industry. Now Rob and Fab are courageously trying to make a comeback as CNN's Gloria Hillard reports. You remember the success? Girl, you know it's true. Turns out it wasn't, of course, not a note was theirs. Then came the scandal. It's been two years. Millie Vanilli, they say, is the past today. It's Robin Fab. And the only thing we're asking for is just another chance, you know, just check it out. For the last year, they've been working on a new album, on the dance steps and on the singing. They've got a new sexy video, aptly titled, Exposed. It's a risk, you know, for a lot of people. It was a risk to be involved with Robin Fab, but they see now that we, are that we have a fantastic album and that we now can make a lot of people happy that we made sad in the first place and that hurt me the most. But there's a very thin line between success to be, be, being a hero and to being a loser. So we are much more humble. You know, this experience humbled ourselves because people laughed at us. People uh, made jokes about us. From one day to another, boom. Nobody calls you back, no phone call. You know, you just left alone and we're just raw and fab, standing there by themselves. At one point, alone in a Hollywood hotel, Rob Pilatus attempted suicide. I think I took it too personal, you know. Now I have to say, this album for me is like the best therapy. They've been out of the spotlight. They're stepping back in, burying their souls and more seduced by a feeling, that feeling of what it's like to be on stage under the spotlight. That's a great feeling, and we missed this feeling the last two years. We do miss that feeling. On Monday, they appear live on the Arsenio Hall show. After two years, everybody wants to check it out. It's not over until Robin Fat sang. So, they volunteered to... Girl, do you want to get it on? Then tell me now. That's it. <laughs> Gloria Hillard, CNN, Los Angeles. Uh, as Millie Vanilli, they sold more than 7 million albums. And they won a Grammy for Best New Artist in 1989. <laughs> Grammy board. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
And, of course, you know the story. It was taken away because uh, we found out they were lip-syncing. Let's talk about it, and let's hear what they're doing now. Please welcome Rob and Fab. <laughs> screaming oh boy you know okay let me tell you something i just listened to the single up in my dressing room very catchy cool single what i don't understand is and you you sing lead on the thing i was listening to oh, yeah. what i don't understand is why didn't you sing in the first place man you can sing first i want to say to the audience that uh we don't want to blame or point the finger at anybody we take the blame on us mm -hmm. okay what happened is uh, we got a recording contract who was, which was saying that we're supposed to record an album with different options. And we signed the contract, and after that, they came back to us and said, look, it's going to be different now. But we already received advance, and we signed the contract with our, with our legal advisor, and I was French signing a, a contract mm. written in German. Mm. The problem was, the problem was, we were singers in Germany, but we didn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> so, so our dream was always to sing on a record in English, but... We, were, of course, had handicaps, but from the start, we signed a record deal that said we are able, we are allowed to sing and we are allowed to perform, but the producer didn't want to spend time and money for letting, letting us do the job by ourselves, and he hired American professional people. And at the start, nobody really ca cared about it. Nobody thought it would be successful. And three, four months later, we were number one, and everybody's rumors started to break, and everybody was real, real upset. And... We didn't really blame, like Fab said, my partner, my bro here, my yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you all have been through a lot together. Yeah, yeah. we've been, you know, and we pulled it off because of our friendship. You know, yeah. the friendship became stronger and stronger, and that's why we pulled it off. How about friends? Did friends disappear? Because uh, you all had, I used to see you all out, and you had a lot of people with you. No, and then not, the, not as much as you are saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not, as, <laughs> not Now, did all those friends start to disappear? It was amazing. It was like a miracle. It was, it was really amazing. The first week, everybody, after the scan, everybody phoned and said, oh, yeah, you guys going to make it again. The second week, from 10 phone calls, two phone calls. The next week, it was over for a while. Just one guy really stick with us, and we want to say thank you to this guy. We don't want to forget this guy. His name is DuPont Gray. He was our keyboard player. He stick with us through our hardest time in our life, and it was hard. because I thought about going to India. Mm -hmm. Being a fisherman, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, fishes don't won't laugh about me, won't make jokes about yeah. me, you know. So, so, but, but we love music really so much, and you know, we were really young, mm -hmm. we were really young and stupid, and like we said, we didn't blame nobody else. We wanted to make it our own way, and then Clive and and our producer didn't want to really let us do what we want to do. When they when they first told you, okay, <laughs> by the way. You all don't have to do no singing. I mean, were you angry? Because, I mean, self-pride. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we were yeah. angry, you know. But we were pulled on the, on the wall, you know. It's like, you have to do it. Because you no, already signed the contract. You already signed the contract, yeah. you know. We, we, we have no way out. We signed the contract without an uh, attorney. We couldn't afford the money, you know. I, I came from Wendy, from the Wendy's. I, I, I had a job at Wendy's. You work at Wendy's? Yeah, I had a job. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. You know. I came home, I came home, we sang in clubs a little bit, Fab said, man, we have a record deal. Mm -hmm. I said, great, let's go to America, let's go to the States, you know. Yeah. And that was the start, really. Well, um, somebody told me that your relatives even asked you to change your name and they wanted to, like, separate themselves from you? No, no, you know, you have to know, you know, I'm adopted. I was adopted by white people, uh, by white German people. Uh -huh. I'm born in Germany, but my real father was an American soldier. i never seen him, and my real mom was German. She was white. And they adopted me, and this family, their friends and their family, their relatives, are just normal, typical Germans, and probably they took it a little bit too hard. You know, they thought, I, you know, they believe what the press really writes about me. And, of course, we were crazy and wild, and sometimes we were really obnoxious. But it was so quick. We went overnight. 
we went to stardom and overnight we went down you know What did you guys think about fans who wanted their money back? I think that I think they had a right. You know, I really think they had a right. We did something what we're not really proud of. We really thought about it, and we we shouldn't have did it from the first time. Mm -hmm. But hey, you know, we were caught up in the situation, and I give everybody. I think they were right. You know, they yeah, could do yeah. what they want. But I hear that just really 20 people gave the record back anyway. Yeah. So. Um, how about the label? Was it Arista? It was Arista Records. Arista. Now see, they came out and they said, we know nothing about it, you know? Come on, they had to know something. They had to know something. Did, did the label know and are you all angry at them? We have well, been... <laughs> well, you know, we didn't even get a phone call, you know, the day of the explosion, you know, when he came out, you mm. know, so we never had any contact with them no more. Uh, the, you know, the ending was really sad. We sell worldwide 20 million records for Arista Records. And they couldn't even call us on the phone and letting us know, Rob and Fab, take your bags. There are 20 camera crews out there who hunt you down. Leave the country. No. We, have tic we, have the we have tickets to Mombasa, Kenya. Go there for a while and come back in three years. So they didn't do that. But today we don't really feel bad. It was a good lesson for us. We, 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 we ran around. We had our heads were real blown up. You know, we did... Now we are much humbler. Now we really look twice and we are really, really uh, grateful because many people in the United States should deserve a first chance and never get a first chance. And today we get a second chance. And hey, we are real grateful. And we want to say thanks to all the fans who still supported us. Mm -hmm. And we want to th uh, say thanks to a couple of people, to Jerry Buss from the Lakers, oh, yes, who, always, who always gave us tickets to the games. <laughs> 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 you know how, oh, you yeah. know how important he that gives is. me tickets and I don't do none of my jokes. I'm that. <laughs> and I thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. But you yes. have to understand, many people just really, like you said, after a week, we've, people treated us like like outcasts. And there were people like Quincy Jones who I met yeah. once. He really took Fine. nice talk nice to us. Or we could go to Giuseppe Franco as a hair salon and mm -hmm. always do our hair and our. <laughs> <laughs> um, you speak fluent French. Yeah, that's my mother language. I'm okay. born in Paris. Yeah. Okay, now you know how people are, and me being one of them. Um, sing something like, sing something in French. Okay, we can do it. Au clair de la lune, mon ami Pierrot, prête-moi ta plume pour écrire un mot. Where do you guys want to be in 20 years? I think we want to be in, still in show business, maybe producing maybe different yeah. bands. Don't you all have something you're producing on somebody else now? Yeah, I, I want to introduce my homeboys out there. Victor, Wait, when, you, when you say homeboys, who do you mean? My boys, my boys. <laughs> from Germany? No, they're from L.A. Victory of War, Vladimir and Jerry out there. Oh, okay. They're What's up, y'all? What's up, dude? Yeah. Where I want to be in 20 years from now, not not working at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> would, you know? would you like to still be doing big concerts or? But, um, yeah. yeah, but first, you know, we take a day at a time. That's what we're doing. You know, first we're working on that single. The single's going to come out. We mm -hmm. want to see how it's going to work out. First, yeah. so day first by day, for us. But hopefully, yeah. with Van Gogh, you know, if if we if if we stick with music. We're still going to be in the music business, maybe entertainers or producers, but we really look, we look at, at it like day, day, at, day, day, day. at a time. Day yeah. at a time. Um, it was such a traumatic situation. Mm -hmm. um, did you have to seek therapy? Did you have a, a girlfriend that kept you in it, you know, and, and someone you could yeah. talk to? Yeah, we, we, had, we didn't have very much friends, you know. Rob was the only friend I had, so, you know, so we kind of help each other, you know, back and forth yeah. on the way down, you know. Yeah. You know, we're the only ones the, you know, each other. The bills are pretty high. The bills that are paid for therapists, it's mm -hmm. just real honest. And I really do have a problem with it, especially at the start. 
handling first to success. I didn't know what to do with my money, yeah. how to invest it. Somebody said to me, you know, I should invest it in, you know, in whatever, in racehorses. Yeah. And, yeah. and somebody said to me, I should invest it in, in platinum. So it was really confusing messages that we got. And then suddenly it was over. Of course, I had, en I had enormous trouble, my pride, you know. Yeah. I was real hurt that people let us start, and it was real hurt that people didn't give us the first chance, but, but maybe God wanted that for us. It made us much more ha humble and much more grateful. Now, now we see the world different, and now we enjoy, enjoy little things in the world. Yeah. And, and we're just real, real happy to be back here in the United States. Yeah. You know? well, well, i tell you what. Um, this is what the album is gonna look like. It's yeah. The, uh, oh, this is just the, what the single looks like. Or well, maybe the album. Maybe yeah. Because right. because it's not out yet, right? It's not out. No, it's gonna be out tomorrow. In oh, the okay. Shops. What does the picture look like? Have you all seen it? The picture. Yeah. The um the, the album. Will it be just like this? Because uh, I want to know what I, I want them to know what to look for. Uh, that's, uh, we did a photo session for the single and we might do another photo session for the album. Okay. You know? but, it, but actually they have just looked for two black eyes, <laughs> one with green eyes and one with brown eyes. With okay. long hair. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Um, I'm going to go in the audio booth because that's where I'm going to watch uh, the performance. And uh, they're going to go back there and get ready. This is Robin Fab, and, and the moment to do it live has finally come. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Thank you. Get ready. Let's go. Air performing. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Bud Light, please. Sorry, boys. This is the last one. Yes. Singing live for the first time anywhere, performing their single, We Can Get It On. This is Rob and Fab.